Hello everyone, welcome. This is a video tutorial um, for helping to open the upper chest and back as a question came up uh, inspired by my mom and I just wanted to make this video as a way to help you at home using a lot of the props that you probably already have as a way to um, move into this restorative stretch. It's one of actually my favorites. It's a version of Matsyasana fish pose, which is one of my ultimate favorite postures to do. It feels so good, especially the work that I do um, in the garden and you know, writing at the desk. It helps to counter stretch uh, a lot of those tense areas that build up from that repetitive movement. Um, but my mom had asked because she was curious about purchasing uh, this sort of product which advertises it stretches the open stretches the back uh, the upper back which it does um, but and I'm probably a little biased I I don't like uh, even though we have one Colin bought one <laughs> so we know from experience it just sits in the closet because you have plenty of props at home that can do the same job or very similar to what um, products like that are offering. So I'm just going to show you what you can use at home um, to get the same effects. So thanks mom for bringing up this question and inspiring this video. All right, so you need a blanket. So that's one option. Blanket, you can have books or you can also use pillows <laughs> okay and you can use a combination of sorts so first I'm going to just show you with just a blanket so you want to open the blanket up so it's nice and long and then using the short edge you can create a little spring roll now everyone's body is a little bit different so you might play with rolling it up from the long edge too, depending on your blanket. So you just gotta be a little playful to see what works, depending on the type of blanket you have. But there's this nice little spring roll now. And what you can do is place that on the ground where you're going to lay down and move into this restorative pose. You wanna sit where that the prop is behind you. And again, everyone's body is a little different, so the proximity to your hips is going to vary. But essentially what you want to do is roll yourself down where the prop sort of aligns underneath the shoulders, around the scapula area where like the tips of the scapula are, maybe slightly above that, that placement. And then continue to recline back arms can be above the blanket and then allowing the back of the skull to rest and be supported so I am getting that same effect I'm opening I'm supporting my chest I'm lifting my upper back it's very restorative since there's the prop underneath me now you can do this with your legs extended you might have the feet planted on the ground and the knees fall in toward each other to just not have to use any of the muscles or use as little as possible. And some people even play with adding stretches through the hips here as you bring the soles of the feet together. You might play with how close in proximity the heels are to the pelvis as a way to just stretch different muscle groups in the body. And then once you're settled in, you just take some nice deep breaths. If that feels supportive for you enough, great. Uh, coming out of it, you would just want to roll to one side, use your hands and push yourself up. Now you can also do this if you like with a pillow instead. You can even have like the blanket over the pillow just for even extra support. Um, and same thing, you want to roll down where you want your sacrum area still on the floor to get that upper body, upper back stretch. And then I'm just, again, reclining over, letting the heart open. And then again, choosing to extend the legs, to have the feet planted, 
whatever serves you. And one more version is also with books. So if you want a little more of a harder surface, um, books can be great. And you might play with the books that you have at home with which one serves you. And some people like to put the books sort of where the, the longer edge kind of lines up with the length of your spine. Some people prefer to do it the width way so that the long edge is perpendicular to your spine. For me personally, I like it with the length of my spine, just the way my anatomy is. And then when I recline back, it's like it, the little edges of the book um, just almost kind of get a, a nice spot in there where I tend to have lots of tension. Now, if you find that the surface of the book is a little bit too much as you recline down and it doesn't really serve you, then that's where you just take a blanket once more, open it up, up enough where it can roll over the, the, the book there and take off, take away from the, the edges there. And you might stack more than one book depending on the height that you're looking for. But again, you wanna place yourself where my hips are on the ground here. There's space between my pelvis and the, the lumbar curve, and then it's just my um, upper back that's being supported. And I might have to move myself a little bit. I'm gonna move the block down a little bit more because what I found is it was underneath my shoulders, the backs of my shoulders too much, where it felt actually like it was closing myself off. So I like to have my shoulders sort of draping up and over the support here. And again, arms can be wherever they serve you. Some people. Rest them down by their sides, in line with your shoulders, overhead. Wherever you find yourself, just let gravity take over. Breathe through it. Maybe close your eyes and you can stay in that stretch for as long as it serves you, whenever you feel rejuvenated enough to wake back out of it. Maybe starting with five breaths and then 10 and then working your way up to 15. So again, th those are different props that you can use at home. And again, you might have to play with them specifically for you. And there's lots of ways you can fold the blanket as well. You can even um, fold it so it's a little more bulkier. So if you have the ability to go a little bit higher with that upper chest area, and you can even play with it again where the length of the, the blanket aligns with the length of your spine. So I just encourage you at home to kind of play to see what serves you and, and, and allow yourself to move into that, that chest opener, that heart opener, that um, version, supported version of Matsyasana. And that being said, I will say like, I'm not a super fan of, uh, like I said, all these like gadgets and props you can use when there's plenty of material at home. However, I will say that this T-pin, this trigger pin, is one of the best props I have ever used. Um, way better than a foam roller. It is amazing. It's called Muscle Therapy or go to triggerpin.com. I'm not being paid for this. I just love this prop. Um, it's one of the best props I've had, so I think this is one of those props that you would use. <laughs> and maybe I'll do another video showing you how to use that prop. Um, but yeah, bra um, at home, books, blankets, pillows, that will all suffice for moving your way, your way into that stretch in a restorative version. Perhaps I'll show you how to do it without any props as well in another tutorial. All right, thank you.